Where have you wandered off to? I'm over here. <laughs> you okay, Abigail? Settling in. Good. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. Lots to do now. Yeah, for all of us. Look at you. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Hey. How you get on out there, Mr. Morgan? Fine. Mm. What's it like? It's a decent place. There's food to eat, fools to rob. We'll be okay, as long as we don't linger too long. We sent Micah and Lenny out scouting west to see what they could find. Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Oh, I know. Hey, Arthur! What you want? <laughs> you want a sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Hey, Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big... Loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. 
Ah, I remember now, just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> Uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah, okay, boy. Howdy. See you up there. <laughs> yeah, good boy. Stables are just up ahead. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face. Yeah, All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush, and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well... With some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Hop on up there, let's go. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Here we go. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before. Before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a sh... Kind of I remember right.
Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish? Berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. How you getting okay. on with that bait? I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Back up, Arthur, and let's get out. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. 
and staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No. Of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Go which way he went. This way. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Now we wait.
thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big... Scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Let's have a look. Done. I hope you make something pretty with that. Oh, I'd pay just about any price for this. Yep. One-of-a-kind pelts make one-of-a-kind garments. Worth the legwork, I assure you.
Give me space, will you? You want a problem? Calm down. Damn it! You want this? Wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? Yeah. 
Yep. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! For love. Help a blind man. There you go. Your whole life has been one of regret, but it can end better than it began. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Still rolling. <laughs> Come on, mister! It's there on a... Let's get out of here. Oh, let's see. I am gloriously fuddled now. I feel so light and heavy at the same time. Have I told you? What an amazing woman you are. Oh, But stop. you are. Let us be free and wild 
and bad, my dear. Let us make love like love has never been made before. Uh, uh, let me take you to the cloud. Well, that was pathetic for all of us. Come on, girl. I know you. You're trouble. I can't even see straight. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment. But I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of... Sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive! That's an important point. Alive, I got it.
Oh, what we got here? Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just, my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits that I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Right. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, oh, you saved me! Now come on, buddy, let's make this easy. What, you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Ain't we had enough trauma? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! <sighs> really do not like you. Go. 
go. Come here. Come here. Who made you God, friend? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <clears throat> All right, let's take you in. You just lead me to my path, and I'll lead you to yours. Must be suffering from exposure. <laughs> Suffer a little longer. Mm. Oh. oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Sir, <gasps> eh. you do seem to keep blacking out. This isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. What? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Well, he don't understand you, more, and that's the... Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. <laughs> oh! Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Do come in. Uh-huh, go ahead. Carry it with pride.
bet this will shoot better with some new sights. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. You'll love it. Yep, this is the one. Fine piece. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Uh-huh. Yours now. Good, good. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. You need anything else, let me know. Bye. Come on, girl. <laughs> back. Have a look around. Now, let me just look in here. Saw Morris from the auction yard leaving the hotel again this morning. Guess his wife kicked him out again.
Taking a shine to that, huh? Seem to have your eye on that. That's done. That's mighty popular these days. Got a good amount of veterinary supplies. Should be good. Thanks. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Boy, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our <laughs> answer! Come <laughs> here, you! Let's just shoot these bastards! We can handle this pool. You're mine now.
beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on.